Hello, and welcome to City Cruise Live. Today we're going to continue with Trigger Happy Havoc, Danganronpa. Don't know which way it is. Is it Danganronpa, Trigger Happy Havoc, or Trigger Happy? Doesn't matter. Anyway, let's get into it. Last we left off, I was frustrated. Because <laughs> the trial thing took so long, and I wanted to finish up and like... I did not know you could save. <sighs> but anyway, now we're going to continue with the final part of the trial. Leon got evicted. I actually remembered it wrong. Like, I watched the anime a while ago, and I actually rem I thought that uh, the girl with Sayaka actually, like, suicided, and it wasn't him killing her. So I was, I, I was, I, I'm bad at remembering things. <laughs> but yeah, that was a bit of a surprise. Anyway, let's continue. I probably like forgot how half the thing what happens, which I guess isn't that bad. Okay, let's go. Is that the kind of justice that's awakened within you? Just shut. Wait, who's talking? Well, okay, well, anyway, more importantly. Kills, chills, kills! Let's hurry up and get to what everyone's been waiting for the punishment. Okay, so yeah, just to recap, because I did skip through that part, the trial part, pretty quickly. We were doing all of the trial investigation and stuff, and Leon was the killer because Sayaka actually attacked him first, and then in defense, he killed her. So yeah, let's see what happens now. <laughs> I think he dies. I'm begging you, please, don't do this! Hey, come on now! No more begging, no more excuses. You must pay the penalty for breaking the rules. Society demands it. Stop, please! Now then, I've prepared a very special punishment! Why... why does it stop halfway? For Leon Kawata, the ultimate baseball star! No, 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 no! <laughs> Let's give it everything we've got! It's punishment time! No! Oh, poor Leon. He didn't even want to kill anyone, he had to kill her in defense. Or at least, well I don't know why he then tried to kill her when she went into the bathroom, but... Anyway, he's gonna die. <laughs> Where's he going? This is a baseball pit. Oh. I see, I see what's gonna happen. One thousand below. At least give him protection, come on. Like, in the downstairs area, that would hurt so much. <laughs> you want to kill him, not make him suffer. Oh, maybe he does want to make him suffer. I don't know. Guessing he's dead. Well, that's the end of Leon. What we saw. That was the f true face of despair. I mean, if we can't call it that, what else could we call it? Extreme! 
Man, my adrenaline adrenaline is pumping right out of here. Out of control. <laughs> What's going on? I, I can't take it. Do we really have to keep doing this? I just can't take it. Well? Well, hey, if you don't like it. <laughs> all you gotta do is swear to cut all ties with the outside world and accept living here forever. Really, at this point, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> but that's only if every single one of you can get on board with that. <laughs> that's true. Damn you! Man, mm, you! Why the mm are you doing all of this? Evil mm to us. <laughs> what the heck? Evil? You make it sound like I'm some dark, awful, secret society type of guy. Yes. Say what? Well, in this case, a dark, awful, secret society type of bear. Well. Um, so why are you putting us in an upsetting, upstanding young citizen like me through such a cruel ordeal? Hey, um. It seems like. You are trying to use common sense to make some se make sense of something that doesn't make sense. That was a hard sentence. That's like trying to put a mile on a scale. It just... I just don't think it's possible. Um... Hey, uh... I don't think what you're saying and what I'm saying quite fit together. Ugh, shit. You piece of... Mm, I don't know who you are, but I'm gonna pound your ass into the ground. Well, if you did that, then you would die. <laughs> Boo -hoo -hoo. You must really hate me to get so angry, huh? But if you do that, you're barking way up the wrong tree. <laughs> what happened happened because more than one of you decided to get, to, wanted to get out, right? No matter how much time passes, you can't cut free of the regrets you have from the regrets from the outside. You are to blame. <laughs> Of course we can't f cut for free of the outside world. Being trapped in this place is insane. Uh, this insane place. Hmm. Hmm. You're trapped, are you? Well, I'm sure you, once you learn all the mysteries of the school, you think your thinking will change for sure. You'll think, boy, isn't it so wonderful how we all get to live here forever? <laughs> hmm, okay. What does this mean? What are you trying to say? Hey. I feel like there's some deeper meaning hidden in there. Just like before. Kills! Chills! Kills! That's what everyone's saying. Hey. When you say everyone, who exactly are you referring to? <laughs> Sorry, I've said everything I got to say. I need to save some for the fun for later. They are pretty shook. And just like that, he was gone. He left us there overwhelmed by a nightmare turned reality. Who's to go next? I actually don't remember. <laughs> Even after he was gone, we stood there forever, unable to move. Actually, no. It wasn't that long, I think. Everyone just lost a sense of time. We were all too scared. Scared of being alone. <coughs> <laughs> oh, don't be sad. Oh, everyone's gonna be sad. No one even tried to speak. Their faces were stone, their voices dead. But it was in that moment. Just a second. Makoto, can I talk to you for a second? She moved in close and whispered into my ear. Ooh, Makoto. Before we head back, there's something I wanted to talk to you about. It's about Sayaka, isn't it? I'm surprised you figured it out. Well, I'm not that dumb. Like, I'm, I'm pretty dumb, but I'm not that dumb. <laughs> Listen. I told you before the class trial started. You had to figure out the mystery of this case yourself. You wanted me to realize how Sayaka betrayed me by myself, didn't you? The thought never even crossed my mind. I feel like such a fool becoming such an easy target like that. It's true. Sayaka meant to double cross you. That's a fact and you can't change can never change. But even till the end, she wasn't sure of her decision. The decision. That's why 
As she lay dead, she was thinking of you. She was thinking? Of me? You can't just say something like that. I mean, there's no way you could know that. Only Siaka would know for sure, and we can't ask her now. However... Even if you can't talk to ask her, you can infer it, don't you think? Her final thought was how she could protect you. What? So... The fact that she used her last ounce of energy to leave her dying message proves it. If she didn't care what happened to you, she never would have left that message. Well, maybe she just wanted to get back at the person who had killed her. Certainly. That's certainly one possibility. But I don't think that was it. Anyway... I keep reading things in the wrong order. <laughs> I don't know how I do that. But it's okay. She was uncertain. She wasn't sure if she could kill someone or deceive you. Which is why she, her plan failed. Her hesitation attracted failure. Right. It's almost ironic when you think about it. Why are you telling me all this? Because you're the kind of person who can overcome this. Because you can move past the deaths of your friends, Siaka and Leon, and keep moving forward. Correct. Without someone like that, Dozers would never be able to break free of such a desperate situation. Move past their deaths? That's... I could never do that. No. I'm going to carry them with me the rest of my life. How could you possibly move past something like that? Leon, Siaka, they'll carry with me forever. I'll carry their memories with me wherever I go. So instead of forgetting them, you're choosing to... Choosing the hard road. <laughs> Well, I have highest expectations for you. If she said that, she relieved the smallest smile. Hey. By the way, I have to admit, I'm curious. How did you know I wanted to talk to you about Sayaka? Oh, well. I'm psychic. What? <laughs> huh? Kidding. I just have a pretty good intuition. Oh, he got that from Sayaka. Using her tricks now. So she's dead. That's... Infringement. Okay. Two people, three people down. Right. To be continued right now. Got it. You received the despair bat present. What does that do? Ah, oh, it's a present, right. Save. Alright. On to chapter two. So these chap- I wasn't sure how long the chapters were, so they take quite a long time, so we're gonna ha I'm not gonna try and finish a chapter in one, like, one stream. He said nothing, okay. Is he in his room now? Is it She's really gone. Is gone. It's almost like there was never anything there to begin with. Every last sign of Sayaka's di existence has disappeared without a trace. It's just like she he said. After the class trial before, we took the elevator back up. Monokuma told us. Uh huh. Oh, I almost forgot. Since the class trial is over, I'll go ahead and dispose of all the corpses. <laughs> How nice of him. What are you gonna do? It's okay, no need to thank me. Just seeing your delighted smile, smiling faces is thank enough. Thanks enough for me. After all, nobody wants to look up at a rotting corpse every day. That can't be good for your health. <laughs> Didn't even have time to mourn Sayaka and Junko's, Junko's death. I'm sure that's exactly why he did it. It's a bad joke, a sickening dream, but I have to accept the reality of it all. I headed back to the dining hall to meet up with the others. Sorry I'm late. So, um... Hey, are you okay, Makoto? Listen to me! You sure took your sweet time! Wow! After death? And you like this? I was just about to go get you, and you drag you- and drag you back here. So, sorry. Hmm. So, hmm. what happened? Was your room fixed up like he said? 
<laughs> I imagine it would be pretty hard to sleep with a rotting corpse in your bathroom. Hey, come on! <laughs> Jesus, that's mm, up, oh, man. Why do you? Why would you say something like that? Yeah, this guy's. He's 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 odd. Let me check if I'm streaming. My room was spotless. There wasn't anything left. Did they fix my door though? Like, if they're gonna remove a body, they have time to fix my door. Okay. Like the whole thing never happened. I see. It must be tough staying there, knowing what happened. Why don't you just stay in Sayaka? Why don't you just stay in Sayaka's room? Well, staying there with a scent still hanging around in the air, that would hurt just as much. Plus, I've decided that I can't turn away from my death. Hmm. Makoto. Um. Hey, cheer up. Getting depressed isn't going to help anything, right? If we all work together, I'm sure we'll find a way out of here. You got it. So everyone just try and cheer up and get back on track. Hmm. Is that honestly supposed to make us feel better? Huh? Huh? Hmm. We already know. We were already working together, and yet someone was still murdered. Anyone could betray us at any point. Now that it's happened once, it's a question of when, not if, the next one takes place. <laughs> yeah, because Sayaka made the first move. Well... But, but if we work together against the Mastermind, nobody will have any reason to do something like that. Stop talking. Keep telling yourself that. I'll be over here in the real world. Working together, fighting is a, a common enemy. Like it or not, it's not that simple. Um, what do you mean? Are you okay with this? The mastermind seems to be more, much more powerful than we've ever suspected. They took over Hope's Peak, which was supposed to be well defended, then modified it to fit their desire. They even they created Monokuma, which seems to be incredibly advanced, and even and they're incredibly advanced, and they're providing for our every need. <clears throat> and the cherry on top is the execution we witnessed. Honestly, everything has been planned down to the last excruciating detail. It's not the work of your everyday psychopath. To find them may be too great of a risk. So then, then what are we supposed to do? Anyone who truly does want to escape, you just have to follow the rules. <laughs> In which case, the only option is to deceive those around you and win the game. N no. N no. What? No, what? I, I can't take it. I don't want to live. It, it means killing someone else to do it. I don't want to kill anyone else. Huh? Anyone else? What do you mean? It's because... Leon died because we all voted for him, right? It's no different from us killing him ourselves. But... <laughs> but... If we didn't choose him, we'd all die. So, um... Yeah, exactly. That isn't what you wanted, is it? So it would seem. She's right. If you he heap that kind of blame on yourself, you'll turn into a full-fledged masochist. Shihiro, listen. You're not to blame. Not you, not Leon, and not Sayaka. The Mastermind is responsible for everything that's happened. We had no choice but to vote. I can't even imagine what would have happened if, to us if we refused. And in the end, it was Monokuma who ultimately killed Leon. So don't waste your anger on yourself. Instead, direct it on that Mastermind. Is it night time? <clears throat> this is as such. It yeah, is cool. soon the doors to the dining hall will be. Oh, and one other thing. What? It was totally obvious before that you were trying to make yourselves feel better and justify what you did. See you, see you, don't see you, see you. That's about how much I can see you, even when you try to hide. Now pay attention and remember this well. The burden of judging others is a heavy one to bear. So be well aware of your actions. 
some some weird noises on my microphone. Just stack up. What do you mean? They, they cut each other off if I play the new next one. <clears throat> anyway. Order and stability rely on the sacrifice and also responsibility welcome. of everyone. Okay then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Thanks, Monokuma. <clears throat> yeah. what, what was that just about just now? <sighs> was he saying it's our fault what happened? That's pretty cruel, man. Don't fuck with me. Oh, you have the Twitch chat running? Were you like listening on two devices? <laughs> yeah, that would make things stack up. I was gonna say, like, I'm pretty sure my audio is fine right now. At least I'd hope. And so the day drew to a close. A tense, maddening day that saw the deaths of three classmates, Sayaka, Junko, and Leon. But this is just the beginning. Our despair has only just begun. We're on to chapter two. Boys, life of despair. Who's gonna die next? I actually don't know. Not more dead. I I forget because I only watched this anime like last year or something, so I forget what happened. Hmm, but we will find out together again. I woke up the next day to Monokuma's normal morning announcement. Then he's called us to all to the gym. This is like there's, there's not much action in this, so it's basically just me reading. So, welcome to CD Cruz's audiobook of Danganronpa, Trigger Happy Havoc. Where I read badly and do really bad voices. What's he gonna do to us this time? We were practically frozen with fear, but Monokuma was determined to get us involved in his little game. And with the goal, that goal in mind, he began it. Okay, what? lift your arms up and down. One, two, three, four. <laughs> That's what you came for. The CD Cruise audiobook of Danganronpa. One, two, three, four. Now reach way up and bend way down. Tighten those muscles. Let's add a little strength, a little speed to those young bodies of yours. Sounds kind of creepy. 10 out of 10 would buy. <sighs> ah, doesn't this feel just great being stuck inside like this? You gotta make sure you stay healthy. <clears throat> You're the one keeping us stuck inside. <laughs> Don't sweat the small stuff. That's my motto. Yeah Whoa, I sound pretty cool just now, don't you think? Did you fall in love with me? Am I going to... Am I just to die for? Am I just to die in... Rith... Rithing? Writhing? Agony for! I wanna see Mono... CC... I wanna see CD! <laughs> do the stuff Monoku... Uh, do the... I, I... I don't have enough space in here to like do that and you can't really see it on the camera you can only see my face i could yeah i don't have i have like a thing behind me can't even move back my room is kind of small well it's not that small but it's not great for streaming anyway so why did you call us here certainly it wasn't just to make us exercise i'll just i'll just do that that's my exercise up and down. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, in other news, I, I'm planning on trying to uh, record my Nintendo Switch um, for live streaming, so I might be able to play Nintendo Switch games on stream. And I do have Just Dance. <laughs> so that might be interesting to stream. <laughs> so... I'd see if I can- I don't know if I can do Just Dance, because I said, like, there's not much space here. 
but I'll try. And I have plenty of other Nintendo Switch games to play, like Splatoon. Um, I have Pictocross, which is like a little puzzle game. I like it, but it's probably not that interesting to stream. Um, I have Mario Kart. Uh, I have one to switch, but I'd I'd need I'd need friends to to play one to switch, and I don't have those creatures. Anyway, back onto this. <laughs> just to make sh you exercise, just to make you exercise. Hey! If exercise makes you laugh, exercise will make you cry. Now, if you keep doing these exercises. You will uncover the secret of the assassin's fist. <laughs> sad CD. I need a sad CD emote. And then you'd need to subscribe so you can use it. But right now I just have the wah. You can use the wah if you, if you subscribe. <laughs> okay. Passed down from generation to generation in the empire of darkness, the power can be yours. Hmm? If you add that, I will sub. Well, I'd have to add it as a higher tier. Because you have tiers, so the $5 tier, you get one emoticon. $10 tier, you get two. So I'd have to put it into the second tier, because I've already got the first tier. Just just letting you know. I, I don't expect you to sub, so it's, it's alright. <laughs> but just letting you know, that's what I'd have to do. At least I think so. That sounds like a k kind of junk a middle schooler would come up with. It doesn't matter. Just get to the point. Did you really call us down here just to exercise? Hey, um... Of course not. You think I have that kind of free time on my hands? I think he does. Okay, so then... Hmm. Ah, I ha I'd like to make an announcement. Every time you overcome a class trial here at Hope's Peak, a whole new world will open up to you. What the heck? A whole new world? You guys? <laughs> It'd really suck if you had to live here forever with nothing new to stimulate you. Besides, I know how you kids these days get get with your ADD and ADHD. <laughs> Gotta keep you motivated. Very nice. So go ahead. Look around. All you want. Enjoy the brave new post-trial world, till you explode! With that, Monokuma disappeared, leaving us even more confused than when he'd showed up. But... A new world? Could it be... Is he talking about a way to get it outside? I wonder about that. That seems unlikely. Piece of shit! Well, we don't know till we... <laughs> Look, wow, why are you so angry? Hey! Whatever you meant. It seems we'll have to search the school one more time. You hear me? Okay, then let's split up and start investigating. When you're done, everyone meet back up at the dining hall and we'll share what we found. <laughs> you're basically a one pr trick pony, you know that. Got it! More like a staple food source. Now let's get moving. Seeing his words uh, as their signal, everyone scattered and left the gym. Okay, let's leave the gym. I think the stairway up has unlocked now. Now, what do you have to say? What the heck? Hey, man, Makoto, did you see what ha what's inside this display case? Bad. This is super bad, man. What are you talking about? I didn't notice anything all that weird in there. Hmm. Sure, to the untrained eye, it's nothing, but this is awful. A bad, awful trap. What's, serious. What is that? Copy this, paste that. The stuff you see lined up there. Any god could come by and use it to send a message. Huh? Uh, I'm being stuck with the knowledge. It's an ill omen of de total devastation and ruin. Let, let, me let, me out of here. let me add it. What is going on with him? I have no idea what he's talking about, so maybe I'll just leave him alone. <laughs> what is he talking about in this? Oh, okay. 
Oh, hello. Got it! Makoto, look! The gate blocking the stairs is gone. It would seem a path to the second floor has opened up. You hear me? But it's also of utmost importance to double check the areas we already know about, just in case. Without a doubt! Aren't I so clever to think of that? I really impress myself sometimes. Well, three people died, it's kind of novel to <laughs> trade true. You understand? Well, I'll leave the school to you. Alright. So yeah, we can go up there now. The gate that was blocking the stairs has been opened. Is this what Monokuma meant by a new world? If so, what's up there? Ah, oh, dang it. I want to do first explore. This is the second floor of the school. Maybe there's some kind of clue here. Yeah, I'm sure of it. There's got to be something here. Alright, second floor, I guess. What is around here? Another classroom. Another floor that we can't get to yet. The baby is sleeping, please be quiet. Ah, oh, he already came up here. I see. This must be what he meant by a new world. Huh. I'm retired, it's a whole new world! Oh yes, we have to check the toilets. Can I even go in the toilets? I don't know. Where am I going? Okay. I can. Cool. A whole new world! Why can't I select it? It says there's something there. Okay. Go in the I don't think I can. I think it actually doesn't allow you. Yeah, this is girlfriend. If I ever took a step in there, I'd become a total creep in everyone's eyes. And that'd be it for me. I have a funny story about walking into the girl's bathroom. <laughs> you wanna hear it? <laughs> it's not it's not like that long, but it, it's it's just a funny little thing. A library. Story time. Yes. Yeah, well. Okay. It's, it's not. It's nothing that great. But. Uh. You know. You know when. Have you ever gone on like school trips where you go to like. Fancy places like we went to. Um. To like where the government people are, like Parliament House and stuff. So we went there. And we got to explore it and they like took us on a tour kind of. And um they were showing us around and like everything looked fancy and stuff. And then like everyone all of the girls was going into this like one room and I like followed them and it, it looked like a normal room. But it was a girl's bathroom and they're like, Craig, why are you coming in here? And I'm like, oh, oh, my mistake. <laughs> and yeah. It it looked like a normal room, okay. It looked Completely like a normal room because it's all like fancy, fancy people's stuff. So I was like, "Oh, just a normal room. Let's see what's in here." And no, it's a bathroom. <laughs> it's, it's the girls' bathroom. Ah, uh, yeah, that was a bit awkward. And this was like in the government place with all the gov official government people there. Ah, <laughs> uh, good times. Yes. Whew. It's remarkably but dusty in here. And the lighting is less than ideal. For a library, it's not the kind of place I'd want to do much reading in. I'm absolutely shocked. How come? Damnation! I have all these books here, not one copy of any of my works. <sighs> uh, well, yeah. Why would they have co comics in a library? <laughs> Plus, uh, most fanfics is just porn drawn by a bunch of amateurs. Oh yeah. Actually, yeah, I went to a fancy government thingy this March, but the toilets looked like toilets. Well, these toilets didn't look like toilets because there was a lounge in there. Who has a lounge in toilets? It looked, it looked so fancy. Anyway, you just don't get it. Not at all. Actually, I, do, I do too get it. <laughs> and with a face like yours, anyone can tell nothing you do is worthwhile. Whoa. Them fighting words. 
Say whatever you want about me, but never judge a book by its author. Okay. Nothing. Now hear this. Appearances mean nothing at all. What you see before you is nothing more than the rent, rent that contains the rind that contains the meaty pulp of my genius. Here we go. Have a lounge in. <laughs> you have a lounge in your restaurant. My creations are what determine my meaning and value. <laughs> You're so full, full of it. <laughs> I'm used to being misunderstood. You think weak attacks like yours will drop my HP? These two really worry me. Hmm. But still, this library is most interesting. Uh, what's interesting about it? Stop talking. Oh, nothing. I was just thinking out loud. I don't like this guy. He's so mean. You must be pretty happy to have all these books around her. Huh? Oh wait, that was, that was him, not him. Her, Tucker? No, not particularly. Nothing's really caught, caught my attention so far. Hifumi kind of actually seems like he's just doing anti-manga. I assume so too. Mm -hmm. Indeed, there's a plethora of books, it's true, but the content seems lacking. No, Where's the comic books? Where's the young adult section? Huh? Comic books, young adult. That stuff's a waste of time. Mm. Mm. I've seen you write, Miss mm. Fuwa, Fuwaka, Fu Fukawa. Talented as you are, your stuff isn't more, any more worthwhile. My stories are filled with true love and pure feelings. Don't compare them to that god bitch of yours. Your writing doesn't even mean anything. It's just a bunch of jumbled up letters. Someone should just burn it all. <laughs> oh, the ladies are protest too much, methinks. I bet you're secretly into boy own boy action. What? <laughs> yup. <laughs> boy, I don't even care if it's an anime or comic or fanfic or whatever. Uh, I'm telling you! It's all filth, throw away culture that'll be trash and forgotten in half a decade. Yeah. Uh, just talking about it makes me sick to my stomach. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. You've insulted me, and you've insulted my honor. These two really started. Yeah, they're, they're definitely something. Oh, there's lots of sea around here, though. Looks like a laptop. Pretty old, and it's all covered in dust. So it's broken. I tried pressing the power button earlier, but nothing happened. Why would he just leave a broken laptop there, though? <laughs> it's called hentai, and it's ha art okay? The shelf is covered in dust, but on the shelf is a letter. What's this? Hope Speak Academy. Indeed. It was buried under a thick layer of dust. It must have been sitting here for a while. Well, shall we see what's inside? But we shouldn't read other people's mail without the permission. Really? Is this the time to not... Dude, is this the time to be all careful about reading other people's things? We're in a life and death situation here. Is that right? What we shouldn't do is leave this here without finding what, out what's inside. Okay. Yeah, Makoto, stop being dumb. I broke the seal and pulled out a single sheet of paper I found inside. I folded the piece of paper and read what was written there. From the Hope's Peak Academy Executive Office. Throughout the years, we have been committed to shaping the youth who will one day shape the world. We have a long, proud history of an intuition, instu, inst, institution of higher learning and full governmental support. Our graduates, graduates enter society ready to take on active leadership roles in every major job field. <laughs> Received a letter. I wonder who it's from. However, Hope Peak Academy must now lower the curtain on its glorious history for the time being. This decision was not an easy one to make, but serious issues beyond our control have made it necessary to make. But make no mistake, this is not the end of Hope Peak Academy. We intend to reopen our doors as soon as the issues forcing our closure have been resolved. That being said, this is the end for now. And I would like to personally and sincerely thank everyone for your help and support over the years. For now, we are awaiting governmental authorization to formally cease operations. What does this mean? 
Hmm. Hmm. The contents of this letter are quite interesting indeed. It would seem... It would seem... Hope Peak Academy stopped functioning as a school. And judging by the amount of dust on the letter I had collected, it doesn't seem to have happened recently. I, if I had to guess, I'd say the letter could be at least a year old. So you're saying Hope's Peak Ac closed down at least a year ago? Hmm. Most likely the mastermind took over in the abandoned school in order to put on his little performance. But, but that would mean it was closed when I got here just a few days ago. But I didn't get that sense at all. Plus, if the school had shut down, don't you think it would have been all in all the newspapers and stuff? I mean, you're saying it could have happened a year ago, right? But before I got here, I looked stuff up online and the school, and I never saw anything about this. So in other words... That must have been a part of the Mastermind's plan. They lured us all in here. Someone could create a place to judge and ex execute people could potentially be capable of anything. Hmm. Of course, that's all assuming the letter is real. However... If it is real, though, that does solve one mystery surrounding the school. D did we like... Did we like travel in time or something? Because like... That's the only, only explanation for a lot of the things. Did we go like in the future a year? Like... I don't know. Because how could this... How could all of this work? I don't know. But, um... Yeah. The reason that there are no other students here could be because the school had already closed down. Hmm. That would be nice. Simple solution, it's true. But then, what about the other part? This decision was not an easy one to make, but serious issues beyond our control have made it necessary. But make no mistake, this is not the end for Hope's Peak Academy. We intend to reopen our doors as soon as the issues forcing our closure have been resolved. We will find out soon enough. I don't think we do, actually. This this game or story is very vague. Like, I told you I've watched the anime, and I didn't get many answers. I'm hoping when I play the second game, I might get more answers. Because I haven't seen the second anime or played the second game, so that'll be interesting. But we got to get through this one first. <laughs> what do they mean by serious issues? That's apparently why the school had to close. Is there any connection between that and what's happening to us now? Now, if if the two events are in fact connected, uncovering that connection would be a useful clue on top of figuring out what the mastermind's motives are. Although I can't really say any more until we find more details. Hmm. So in other words, only the Mastermind knows the truth right now. The Mastermind's motive. If we can figure out why they want to imprison us all here, we will... Will that be enough to get us out of here? Or... Or what? It's a desk! Okay. Whoever's in charge of our piece being pretty lazy. Nice, I have a lot of coins now. Pack tight with books, but look at it. The whole thing is incredibly dusty. I call it the Monokuma is Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> okay, so everything's dusty. Great. some kind of archive. All I saw in there was stacks of old books and files. I can't imagine what business you would have in there. Yeah, the kinds of people are buying presents, but what do you use the presents for? Like, how does that change anything? That's true, I don't really have any reason to check it out. But I could still check it out. Why would you not... Why would you not check out things in this kind of area? Like... I feel like you want to know as much information as possible. Oh, 
kill. I know that. E all the coins. Alright, I guess I'm gonna leave here. Don't think there's much else. Let's see what else we can find to give it to them to make friends. To get power of friendship. What is this? Why do they have... Well, I guess there was windows here. But oh, those are very narrow chairs. But why would you even just have a chair here? Looking at a window. I don't know. This music's kind of like Valhalla's music. At least this one right now. Another classroom. Reality isn't everything! It looks more like a pig there than a bear. There's not much to look at. Giving press isn't a way to increase their affection meter and get their rewards faster. Ah, okay. Well, that might be interesting. Well, I think that's all there is in this place. Just a classroom, another classroom, the library, and the toilets. <laughs> yeah, I'd assume we looked it up. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything else. And then the stairway up to another level. The gate's blocking away, so there's still another floor. Which means not everything's opened up yet. I didn't search in here. We should probably do that. It's just the same, really. Yeah, you just get so many coins. Okay, I want to. Where do you even go to get use the coins? Let me go. I think it's downstairs. Oh, I wanted to just. Oh, there's a pool. Yes, we can have some fun, splashy time. Oh, what? Oh, Makoto. Hey, guess what? Guess what I found? A pool. There's a pool here. A pool. A pool, pool, pool. I guess she really likes pools. You don't have to keep repeating it. I got it. Okay. And there's a ton of exercise equipment in the locker room. Sakura's gonna go nuts when she finds out. Yeah, you're right about that. Hina seems way more excited than usual. Alright. Is that a real gun? It's not like we're at war here. Why would we need something like that? Is this some kind of card reader? I wonder what it's for. Can I stop it in? Okay. The locker room's connected to the pool. It's super nice and big and fantastic to swim in. Ah! I'm beyond excited right now, I can't wait to dive in! Alright, she's the expert uh, swimmer person, so that's why she's so excited. In fact, I'm getting kind of mad thinking about it! Why are you getting kind of mad? Hey Chihiro, Chihiro have you checked out the pool yet? Uh, um... No? Okay, cool. I don't like wearing swimsuits. Yeah, you don't seem to like that type. Seem like the type who might not be into it. But, but still, it sounds like the locker rooms have an exercise equipment you could ask for. Yeah, all the exercise, okay. Maybe I'll give it a try. I'd kind of like to get a little stronger. You want to get stronger? I have to say, that's kind of unexpected. Yeah. 
That I'm not brave enough to step foot into the locker room. Huh? You don't even want to go into the locker room? Um. It's not that I don't want to, it's just... I don't get it. Is she afraid of locker rooms or something? That's a pretty weird phobia though. <laughs> who would... who asked for the equipment there? I think it's just there. Hello Celeste. <laughs> the second floor has opened up. The living area has grown and a number of facilities are now available. Whatever else is going on, I must admit things have been made much more comfortable for us. Do you understand? If things... I, I gotta be like a... Great. <laughs> if things continue like this, the occasional class trial may not be so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> this is a girl's locker room. This is fine. A true gentleman re will respect our space, yes? <laughs> Behind this door is the locker room. Yeah! Oh, and I guess you need your handbook to get into the locker rooms. Really? Of course! Really, really? Oh. Wow. Hmm. If you want to unlock the locker, the locker room, you'll have to swipe your personal e-book handbook across the card reader next to the door. Uh huh. However, to ensure maximum security within each locker room, only a boy's handbook can open the boy's locker room, and the same goes for the girls. And that's the bottom line. Hmm, but what about, what if someone's opened the door, and then someone else sneaks in? Anyone who commits such indecency will be punished without mercy for their scandalous sexual depravity. <laughs> See, there's a Gatling gun mounted on the ceiling right there. And it'll be all ducka 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 ducka. Just a second! I bet it really hurt to get shot by that thing. Oh, okay, that sucks. Hope we can be back soon. Um... Oh, no. I think it'd be a little worse than that. Hmm... What happens if someone loans a handbook to someone else? A boy could bo borrow a girl's handbook, and that would get them into the girl's locker room, would it not? He's lurking the dresses himself. <laughs> what? That has... That's never even occurred to me! To think someone could be so low, so cowardly, so devilish! Hmm? Hmm, okay, that's... then how's this sound? I got it! Time for a new rule. As of this moment, loaning your ebook to another student is tr strictly prohibited. <laughs> there, so now nobody can give the handbook to anyone else, right? You like that? I'm kind of a genius, right? Because my brain is 100% cotton. <laughs> okay. Honestly. I do not imagine anyone would have lent in the handbook. Would have lent the handbook out in the first place. Is that okay? After all, they would likely be held responsible for anything that person might do using the handbook. So, um... But you know, you seem awfully concerned with all this locker room security stuff. Of course! It's because all you te teenagers are sex-crazed maniacs. You're all at the age you'd try humping a plastic bottle. So keep anything un unseemingly from... So to keep anything unseemingly from happening, I have to maintain a rigorous watch. Then in that case, I would ask that you keep the same close eye on our dorms. If some man and some woman decided to share a room, there would be nothing to stop them. <laughs> All I care about is protecting the holy image of the school itself. This I don't care what happens in your private dorms. By force or by cunning, do whatever you want. Just the worst. I hate you so much. See ya later! Okay, so the new regulation is now in place. See ya! <laughs> Man, that bear totally ruined my mood. Maybe I'll go take a dip to cheer myself up. You got up. it! Celeste, so, hero, wanna come with me? As for me... There is nothing I hate more than getting water on my face. Uh, I'm sorry. sorry. I'll pass this time. Huh? How come? When you're in a funk, there's nothing better than a good swim to pull you out of it. I'm pretty sure that only applies to you. Anyway, now I have a pretty good idea of what's on the second floor. 
but I didn't see anything that might lead to any kind of exit or anything. All I can do now is hope someone else found something worthwhile. Okay, I'd better head back to the dining hall as soon as possible. Cool, cool. Oh, I, I don't like it that they just make you go to the dining hall, like I can Listen walk to, to it. Do things I want to do in my own time. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, how did it go? Did anyone discover anything interesting? Anything new? Yes, indeed. There's a library. Okay. And a pool, a freaky pool. And the locker room's filled with exercise equipment. Well, there was not a lot, however. Anything resembling an escape route. Yeah, she's right. I see. Well, hey, there's no reason to get all sulky. Wait till you hear about my amazing dis my amazing discovery. Quiet down and listen. The warehouse and bathhouse on the first floor of the dorms are now open. You hear me? And the warehouse is chock full of food, clothes, whatever you want. There's so much. It's insane. <laughs> so go ahead and stuff yourself to the gills whenever you feel like it. Ha ha ha. Are you okay with this? Keep in mind, of course, that going out at night time is still prohibited. Please do not forget. Yo. Okay, and what about a mm, way out of here? You find anything like that? Hmm. Oh well. Mm. What? There wasn't what? anything in the warehouse we could use to get our asses out of here. Nothing. Unfortunately, no. No, not not that I saw. Hey, come on. You people. What? Who gives them if we have a goddamn pool now, or a warehouse, or whatever the? We're still trapped in this piece of mm, school. We need to find a way, a goddamn way out. <laughs> now, now, there's no point of taking your anger out on us. Adaptation is key, yes. For now, we must find each other, find each, we must each find a way to enjoy our current situation. You piece of... Whatever you say, you loons. <laughs> For now, let's just continue the investigation and let everyone know if you find if you should discover something so then so are we done for today yeah well, well yeah I guess so what was this ma the mastermind's plan to give us hope just to turn around and betray that hope yeah I'm pretty sure Yes, yes. Hmm. <clears throat> As such, soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked. An entry at that point. Okay then. Sweet dreams. We all promise not to leave our rooms during the night time. There's not much else to do. I guess I'll go to bed. Did these mean anything? Why are they popping up? A globe, a race car, glue and scissors? Mr. Monokuma, Mr. Monokuma, do you have a second? I, I don't really like myself. I don't really have any kind of skills or hobbies I can say I'm super good at. And my grades are totally average too. My reflexes are okay. Not great, not awful. I could get into a decent college. But I'd make a few friends, maybe find a normal girlfriend. What is th what is this? Which is exactly why I don't know, don't like who I am. I understand that now. My life is just one giant copy paste. I don't have any imagination. I'm perfectly average. Cardboard cutout. You see what I mean, right, Mr. Monokuma? Is he me talking to himself? I don't I don't understand. Bing bong. Good huh. morning, everyone! It is now suck yet ready to- Oh, that's right. I wanted to let you know that your e-handbooks have been updated. Okay. New regulations have been added, so please take a look and enjoy your school life more than ever before! Okay. But right now I need to hurry ahead to breakfast. Okay. Let us save here. Okay. Yeah, okay.
I want to go to the store before I do anything else. I want to see what's there. If I can. Ah, oh, okay, fine then. I only have a certain amount of time to go to the stores then. A certain time before I can. Hey, Makoto! Morning, Makoto! Good morning, is everyone here already? Yo, yo, yo! Nope. Still waiting on Byakua and Taka. Byako, no surprise, but it's strange Taka's not here yet. <laughs> oh, is Taka dead? Knowing Taka, I imagine he's trying to get the king of tardiness up and out of bed. Mm. I'm sure they'll be, they'll be here soon enough. Just be patient. Let's see. I don't mind waiting for them, but there is one problem, which is <sighs> I am thirsty. Hey, come on. How the hell is that a problem? <laughs> Afumi, would you make me some tea? Huh? <laughs> Milk tea, if you please. Well, oh, why me? Let's see. Your roundish figure reminds me of the owner of a coffee shop I used to frequent. That's your reason. This is fine. I can feel my throat drying out. Quickly, please. Oh. Um... Yay! With instant noodles. Oh, okay. Apparently unable to refuse Celeste's order, Hifumi sulked his way into the kitchen. I like milk tea as well. I don't know if yeah, that's weird. Like, I don't really like normal tea. I like like tea with like lots of milk in it, like pretty much all milk. <laughs> I don't know. Is that a, is that a normal thing? I like I like milk tea. And a few minutes later, <laughs> thank you for waiting. Hifumi reappeared with a tray in hand. The gentle aroma growing stronger as he approached. Tea is like coffee for weaklings. Coffee is trash. It tastes horrible. <laughs> and it doesn't smell much better. And at least tea does not become addictive. Hmm. Finally. <laughs> coffee is the best. Wait a second. I don't know why my nose is always itchy. I don't even have like a runny nose on it. I don't know. You could have made some of the rest of us, you know. There's no way to think about this I in a common sense kind of way. Pathetically, I uh, can't say that word. Decline. Yo, not my type at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about the law of casualty. Basic instinct: act and react. I'm <laughs> secretly drinking coffee. Now. <laughs> well then, if you don't mind. A small smile came across her lips as she held the teacup delicately, delicately in her hand. Oh! Wait. She cocked her head to the side and threw the cup as hard as she could at the wall. Crash. What? <laughs> blub blub blub. Hey, what are you doing, my little white rabbit? <laughs> My little white rabbit? Oh no! He's got feelings for her! I hate this kind of tea! Um, um, I don't understand. Yes, indeed. Imagine we are at a coffee shop. Just an any normal everyday cafe. I sit down and order some tea. They ask me, would you like lemon or milk? Now further, imagine I reply, oh yes, I would like milk tea please. Don't break my cups. In this case, along with my tea, they may bring me a small container of milk, yes? <sighs> but this is not for me. I'm among those who prefer the milk to be a part of the process, not the outset. The fragrance is just so overwhelmingly sweet that way. Adding milk or lemon right before you drink is like dousing your fries in ketchup. Mere condiments. Whenever I look, whenever looking at for a cafe, I first review their menu to see if it offers the proper style of milk tea. She's very particular about a milk tea, <laughs> and I cannot acknowledge any milk tea that does not add the milk during the brewing process. If I had to describe our shared reaction to what we just heard, I'd have to go with wide-eyed bewilderment. Um... 
she's a spoiled brat. Um, well, I went to all that trouble to make you that tea, and you wanted me to go even farther? <sighs> yes, I realize it can be a bit of a hassle. Even in cafes, that proper, proper milk tea, it is always more expensive than simple tea with milk. It takes more time to prepare, surely, but <laughs> why even bother catering, creating a menu if you are not going to offer the highest quality, level of quality? Well, well um, I don't actually have a menu. <laughs> Poor Hifumi. You little bitch. That does not matter. Oh, <laughs> what? Hurry up and bring me what I asked for, swine. Wow. Sweet she is a spoiled brat. Wow! Okay, your little piggy will bring you. Your little piggy. Oh, this is getting from bad to worse. <laughs> I do love coercion. Huh? You were like a totally different person just now. Oh, yeah, you really went psycho there. <laughs> She's one to look out for. I knew there was more to her when I first met her. I'd hate to get have her as an enemy. What's the cookies and cream is happening? Why do you keep changing your colours? I can see it change. <laughs> Seriously, man. She's one scary chick. Like, I keep thinking it's new people joining, but no, it's just you. <laughs> the dining hall floor doors flew open and one of the late arrivals came storming in. But, bad news everyone, there is a mystery afoot. Huh? Now what happened? <clears throat> it would seem, Byakua refuses to leave his room. Am I not enough? No, you are plenty. Skull, do not, do not feel sad. I love you. Thank you for watching. But I do wish there were more people, just so we could have more people to talk to, you know? It's, it's, it's nice to have... More conversations. It would be Bayaka. I, I read that. I stood there pressing his doorbell over and over, but he never showed himself. Maybe he just wasn't there. I think maybe. I'd like to think so, but I'm worried something else might have happened. What he meant by that? He didn't have to say anything else. Everyone understood exactly what he meant. <laughs> it's pergonent. <laughs> it it might up. It might be a good idea if we all split up and go look for him. Listen to me! Uh, I was just about to suggest the same thing. What's your problem? Stop trying to one up everyone. Um. Okay, then let's just. Drop it. I'm gonna keep uh, on hammering that button until I get a response. Well then. Very well. Then let. Then the rest of us can go check the rest of the building. Uh, um. Yeah, before you know, it's too late. Anyway, we just have to do our best to find Biakua. So where might have he gone? Maybe he went to check on the second floor of the school again. What's up with her? Celeste, aren't you gonna help look for Biakwa? <laughs> I have not had my tea yet. <laughs> wow. Huh. As for me. Until my thirst is satisfied, I have no urge to do anything. <laughs> if you are in a hurry, feel free to motivate Hufumi to move faster. Okay, but are you kind of selfish? Yeah, she is. Yeah, I think he's in the archives too. But I want to go to the store. I haven't been able to even look into it yet. Where is the store? It's here, right? Store. What is this? Uh, I'll give it a shot. Oh wait, is this an actual game? What do I do? What do I do? I might have to go back. Wait, how do I go back? Wait, what am I doing? Ah. Oh. An item! Is 
Is that a gun? <laughs> oh, sorry. How do I escape this now? How do I exit? Oh, okay, I click something. No, I want to see the shop. Okay, oh, so we only can use that thing to get items? Sure, I have like plenty of coins. So why don't why don't we just use heaps of coins? Because I have plenty and I don't really know what else you can use it for, so. Does it use it all at once? Or I got a phone? Why don't I just use one instead of 30? <laughs> ah, okay. Oh, I'm already getting repeats. What is this? Does the number of coins change anything? I don't understand. Oh, I think it lowers the repeat chance. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I wasted a lot of coins. <laughs> I only need to use that money. Yeah, I wasted like 30 coins. Great. Lucky. Lucky what? Ah, okay, there's another one. Nice. Okay, I see how it gets harder to get more things. And you need more coins. Okay. I think that's all I'll do, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's exit. How do I exit? Which is the button? Ah, okay, right. Now I have lots of presents for people. There's 114 presents to try and get. That's a lot of presents. Why don't I just use the ray gun to kill everything? And now I should try and get more coins because uh, they are. I, I kind of just want to get everything. Maybe just like I might get an achievement. Hey, so yeah, let's go to the library. I'm guessing he's in the archives. Ah, when I opened the door and to the library and looked inside, I crowd, cried out in sudden surprise. Piaqua! What? Of all the things I'd imagined, this most definitely wasn't one of them. Hey, uh, what are you doing? I'm fishing. What does it look like I'm doing? I'm trying to read, so if you could be quiet. Oh, sorry. Wait, no! What are you doing here? Everyone's super worried. We've all been looking for you. Who asked you to do that? Because we're all supposed to meet up in the morning and eat together. We made a promise. A promise? <sighs> Can't I get a second's peace and quiet around here? 
Wow, there's so many... Just some water, okay. There's so many edgy people in this. Or like, aggressive people. Meanwhile, the others must have heard me yell and started showing up one after another. Byakua, so this is where you've been hiding. Uh. The heck were you doing here, man? Mm? We were very concerned. Hm. Well, you had no reason to be. I've never read such a coarse novel before, but it might just prove useful at some point. Well... So it. What would you, were you reading? <laughs> a mystery novel. Well. Wait. So are you going to use what you learnt in there to betray us? <laughs> Don't be stupid. Yeah. It's just something to keep in mind. <laughs> well, what? Naturally. If I decided to fight, of course I'll come up with something original. Otherwise the game of ours will be totally boring, right? <laughs> it's not often you get to take part in such a high stakes, high tension activity. So you're doing, gonna do it? You have to make sure it's entertaining. Mm -hmm -hmm. His words sent chills down my spine. There was an undeniable smile on his face as he spoke. It looked like he was actually enjoying himself, enjoying this deranged killing game. Damn you! What the mm, do you mean, game? That's mm, oh. So if a very weird and special murder happens, we know it's back. But it is a game. <gasps> That's so meta. <laughs> it's a game of life and death, which we can only, which can only have one winner. That's all there is to it. <sighs> he is right. It's a re zero sum game, huh? Are you okay with this? It is a part of the game theory, a mathematical mob model. It is, in game theory, what we are going through now is a is called a sum zero game. It is a type of game in or, order for one person to gain something, another must necessarily lose something. In other words, in it is a situation in which participants I cannot read <laughs> participants must compete for positions of resource. I see. You mean like a kind of. Elimination patch. Actually, entrance exams, sport tournaments, job openings, most social interactions fall into this category. It's just a theory. A Monokuma theory. Everyone must scramble to obtain something which is limited for you to succeed. Everyone else must fail. This also applies to the school life we have been subjected to here. In this case, is that okay? Our limited resources is that only one of us can successfully become the blackout. So in other words... So this game is designed from the beginning to force one of us to try and defeat all the others. That, that, can't, that can't be what we had. they had in mind. <laughs> this is why adaptation is so crucial. If those who want to escape were to disappear, there would be no reason to continue playing the game. What? But why would I want to stop playing? It's so much fun. He smiled again as he spoke. The smile filled with an evil intent. It twisted his face into something not human. <sighs> it sounds as if you do not acknowledge even the possibility that you may lose, am I right? Naturally. Of course. <laughs> you do not speak like the others, exactly what I would expect from the Togami heir, apparent. <sighs> It's just normal arrogance, isn't it? Just a second! You talk like that, but what if you end up dead? Not possible. I won't. It simply isn't possible. You son of a bitch! Who the mm, do you think you are? <laughs> you know, I still can't believe it. What? Believe what? <laughs> that an uneducated, brain dead, useless piece of garbage like you has survived this long. Wow. The shots. Piece of shit! He's. If you die, then you're dead. These guys, there's so much tension. 
Don't make me repeat myself. Like I said, I won't die. Uh. You keep saying that, but... <sighs> do not bother arguing with him. For him, the concept of losing simply does not exist. He is the ultimate affluent pro... pro Progenity. Progency? Isn't it progeny? Not progency. Progeny. Progeny. After all, a boy raised to succeed from the day he was born, he considers victory his destiny and has lived his life accordingly. Maybe. You know what? I should just, like, read books as live streams. Just forget playing games, just read books. <laughs> and you can listen to my lovely, horrible reading of audiobooks. <laughs> eh. I'll never do that. That's, that's horrible. I cannot read. Tests and challenges are merely ways for him to stand victorious. Even if it is a life and death situation. <laughs> is that not so, Biako? <laughs> At least one of you seem to understand. Isn't it wonderful? It is because I am the same as you. Games are meant to be won. That's enough. Are you trying to su suggest we're on the same level? Close that vulgar map of yours. <laughs> I did go to the schools. I'm just bad at reading. I like... Yeah, I avoided reading in school as much as I could. <laughs> Well, well, I do apologize. Hmm. Anyway, let me just say this to all of you. You all need to try harder. If an opponent isn't going to give it their best, where's the fun for me? N no. That's ter a terrible way to look at it. What? Mm -hmm. It's because... This isn't a game. Our lives are on the line, you know? To kill our own friends is... is... It's horrific! It's horrific! <laughs> friends? Who decided that? Huh? <laughs> We're not friends. No, quite the opposite. We're in competition. We're enemies. Love heart. Why? But... But, but, you know... What? But what? Stop trying to force your contradictions on me and just accept what I'm telling you. Um... Come on. Yes. If you have something to say, say it. Otherwise, keep your mouth closed. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, poor Chihiro. Get off your bullying people. You get off on bullying people? They can't fight back? You want to try that on me? Hmm. So you're back to pretending to be friends, huh? And how long do you think that's going to be? That's going to last. Piece of shit! What? Is that all you can say? It's unfortunate you would waste your breath on such empty gibberish. You son of a bitch! That's it, you're dead. Just a second. Calm down, everyone. Piece of shit! I am calm. Oh. How is this calm? Hmm. Anyway, I don't have any intention of working with the rest of you any longer. To cooperate during an elimination game is... Well, frankly, it's a waste of time, and I hate wasting my time. Waste of time. Not possible. Engaging in friendly group meals is out of the question. Someone could easily poison our food. And I'd rather not become the part of the Last Supper just yet. Duh, shit. I'm not angry, I'm yelling for fun! Quit talking like you're a uh, movie or s you're in a movie or something. Goodbye. All I'm saying is that ultimately, you're all free to do whatever you want on your own. Goodbye. Without a second glance back, Biaka uh, left. And there wasn't anything we could do to keep him from going. His way of thinking was just beyond anything the rest of us could com even comprehend. But... Was he seriously serious about all that? <laughs> he was, without a doubt. Don't fuck with me! M maybe But then, but what he said, he might not necessarily be wrong. I mean, you can't say for sure someone won't poison our food. Come on, you too, Toka. Anyway. Well, it's not like anyone else would care, even if I, I was gone, right? <laughs> Actually, I bet all of you w want me gone. 
You all think I'm disgusting. Uh, none of us think that. I'm yeah, telling just you. think you don't think that. Uh, I know some people like to play the victim, but this is just totally out of there. You think I don't know you, but I do. You want me gone. And I'm the sure heck? the rest of you want the same thing, don't you? Oh, hey, Toko, wait. <laughs> just let her go. Once she gets going like that, there is nothing you can say to bring her back. Well, that was an eventful little meeting. Ultimately, our brief breakfast meeting came to an end without answering any questions. Everyone headed back to their rooms. I need to get myself free time. Oh boy! All right, let's go outside. I guess. Uh, what do we want to do? What are we supposed to do in this free time? Oh, you'll probably see. Alright, I'll probably end soon anyway as well. I'll probably do that because... What's the time now here? Yeah, I'll probably do that. Um, where is everyone? Let's see Toko. Toko's like the most, I don't know, interesting character to me. She's so weird. What? Ah, okay. Just say that now. She doesn't like me that much, so I'm not gonna waste time trying to speak with her. Yeah, I'm gonna try and give presents to someone. Maybe Celeste? She seems like the kind of person I wouldn't want to be on my bad side, something? on her bad side. Well, if it isn't the D rank, Makoto, is there something the matter? Spend time. This is fine. Well then, should we have a bit of conversation? <laughs> ah, but don't misunderstand, I have no affection for you, you on a personal level. Celeste and I grew a bit closer today. Yeah, let's try and give it a present. What should we give her? What do you think she'd like? A red scar? Oh, what's that? Second button. Seems like a ring wearer. She does have a ring. Chin drill, what? Okay, yeah, I'll give her the ring. We'll see if she likes that. Do you understand? The sense of gratitude I am trying to convey to you? I get the impression that she liked it. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, she likes rings. Good choice, Skull. Makoto, I would like to share something with you. Now, what is it? <laughs> My perfect gambling strategy. Is there really such a thing? Indeed. Of course there is. Are you ready? Pay, please pay attention. Whatever the game, you must have a mind for strategy. This will allow you to increase the odds of winning. <laughs> wow, great strategy. However, the exciting part about gambling is that there is a power switch. Which power, which you can overwhelm any strategy. There is. Indeed. The power is luck. <laughs> Great strategy. Luck. Actually. There are two types of luck, good and bad. There is no in between. And that luck is built into every human at the moment of conception, like a computer program. Is that okay? Some call it fate. The bottom line is luck is life. Well. Do you see what I'm saying? You mean, that's your perfect strategy? The bat to our friend took you straight. She may be here. <laughs> Correct. You see, I was programmed to get have good luck when, I when it comes to gambling. 
That's why I, ha I have never lost. So, that's all there is to it. <laughs> you are the ultimate lucky student, right? Yes. Does this perhaps exceed my own luck? One day I hope to put that to the test. I hope you are well. Mm, well then, have a nice day. Oh, bad luck and good luck. Gambling's probably not the great idea for me. My maximum skill points have been increased. Okay. Is it already nighttime? No, it's still daytime. All right. Look at me go. So what's this about my report card skills being upgraded or something? I don't know. Not that we can save. Let's see who else is out and about. Let's see if anyone's in the pool and if we can even go in the pool, because I haven't gone in there yet. Hey, we can go in. No one's in here though. Oh, look at that lovely lady. Mm -hmm. Now this is an interesting poster. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Obviously, someone put it, this in the school, but is it really okay to have something like this? <laughs> we can't go into the... Oh, maybe, okay. Okay. Nothing else interesting here except for that. Hey, the pool. How is that chick that was so excited? about the pool not in here. I feel like she'd be in here like all the time. Oh, I can move around. That's cool. <laughs> Maybe that kid's crying in the toilets. Observing? Weird. So that's the only place where anything's really at. Interesting. He's not crying in these toilets. He's probably in the library again. Yes, he is. Okay. Wait. Can I go into the archives place? I can't concentrate with you. Wow. There's something in the archives place that they don't want us to see. He's already done crying. I wonder what's in the archives place. Well, who else are we going to talk to then? Where is everyone there?
No one's here. Where is everyone? Oh, it's okay. Oh, yeah, here's everyone. Who do you want to talk to? Oh, let's talk to Hifumi. He's interesting. Oh wait, he can't teleport? I thought we could teleport. Where is he? Oh, he's in the- he's in the boys' bathrooms! He's probably ki- <laughs> He's either crying, or he's putting his hentai collection to- to use. <laughs> Maybe we don't want to go into the bathroom right now. He would probably want the laser gun. <laughs> Hello. Mr. Nyagi! It's been too long, Mr. Nyagi. You see, I've been spending time going back and forth between a parallel world. I've been over there for a while. For well, a long time, but I finally returned to my own time. <laughs> Wow, that actually sounded kind of cool. I should have made that my, like, battle quote. Should I hang out with him? Should I? Yeah, okay. Oh. That means you must have realized that I have certain powers. <laughs> yes, that's right. My greatest power is my ability to negate the powers of others. I've actually... I've never actually used it in a fight, yes. Yet. But I'm not worried because whatever, whatever abilities they have, all I need is my power of negation. Alright. <laughs> Fumi cornered me and made me take part in his delusion. Sure, we'll give him a present. What should we give him? Is it the gun? I don't know. I feel like maybe some. Oh, we still have the present. Oh wait, no, we have zero off it. So you can have multiple of things. Okay. What do you want a cat dog magazine? <laughs> I know it's not hentai, but it's something. Okay, laser gun's probably the best. Mm -hmm. Oh, -ho. thank you for this most wonderful item. Does that mean you liked it? <laughs> Man, I see you quality in you, Mr. Nyagi. True quality. Mr. Nyagi! That's why I've decided to present you with my lecture on the nature of my fanfiction. Oh no. You wanted this, Skull. You wanted this. <laughs> if we're going to be friends, you must fully in be informed. I will permit no fanfic bigotry whatsoever. I don't think any- I have any fanfic bigotry. I mean, I don't really know anything about that kind of geeky stuff anyway. See, there it is! To you, fanfic equals geeky, right? But is that all the word is worth? Huh? Did I say something wrong? <coughs> say something wrong? <laughs> well, that's okay. Because I take the word geek as a compliment. For you, see, there is nobody on earth so full of knowledge as a geek. Yes, indeed. In a sense, a geek is like an expert. That's right, a total expert. A successful musician must necessarily be a music geek. A good movie director is a movie geek, you see? In those... It's those experts, those geeks, who open up the world to others. So when you say that writing, writing fan fanfic is geeky, you're recognizing sure us as true experts. Okay, so, um, what exactly is fanfic then? Here we go! Oof, super direct question for the win! Mm -hmm. Basically, we have all different kinds of stories, 
shops, stores, and events, right? These are where groups of holy warriors sell their own stuff based on games, comics, anime, everything. And the stuff these people make is fanfic. <laughs> comics are the most common creation, but it also includes games, music, and even merchandise. So he is a geek, hentai geek and knows how to make good hentai. Hmm. By the way, hmm. there's a name for hmm. when a group of fanfic creators come together. Specifically, it's any organized group that comes together to release their work. A group that comes together to release their work... I'm gonna go with whatever this is. Men agree, because the others don't make sense. Mm -hmm. But I'm talking about something a little more common. Listen, I'm sure you know it. Go ahead, tell me. A group that comes together to release their work. Circle? Is it a circle? It sure is! Of course you knew that. I mean, it's only common sense. I certainly hope you don't expect me to explain such common sense topics every time. Well, like I said, I don't know much about this stuff. This goes well beyond, I don't know too much. But I guess I can't blame you. The proper propaganda ne uh, The propaganda never touches on that. So as a fanfic ambassador, by the time I'm done with you, you'll be itching to buy a premium pass to the next fanfic con. <laughs> right? Obviously he's excited, but... <laughs> That's it for today. I hope you're excited for your next lesson. I'm thrilled. I can't wait to see what the future ha has in store for us to... Kinda of scared what to see what the future has in store. Handiwork. Give myself a pat on the back. He's probably a conspiracy. Yeah, I'd, I'd say so. Okay, it's night time. We only get to talk to two people every free time. Okay, so I'll try and save as soon as I can, and then we'll be finishing for today. <coughs> Yeah, yeah. Such. Soon the doors. Okay then. Another day, another dollar. All the stress and anxiety keep me falling. Whenever I spot a cute girl. I have a tendency to stare. I can't help it. I just stare with intensity. The other day I rode my bike to the train station. I was in the bathroom, just looking at myself in the mirror. Okay. I don't understand what those are, they're so weird. Am <laughs> I seeing you for me? Yes, the perfect way to fall asleep. Good morning! Okay, let's save here. Cool. So, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time on CD Cruise Live. I don't know if that I don't know if that'll be tomorrow. If not, it'll probably be Monday, which will be my next stream. Or. Yeah, probably. I don't know. But thanks for watching, and goodbye!